Hey there, Sagittarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Sagittarius for the week of November 29th. If this one isn't resonating so much, Sag, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. Specifically, I would take a look at your moon and your Venus sign. If you are a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here might be reversed for you or you know, vice versa. Flip it any way that makes sense to you. If you would like your own reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. I'm doing $20 quick readings, uh, $50 readings that are a lot like what I do here on YouTube, kind of a deep dive into one question slash one situation. And the large $75 readings that are really about, you know, delving deep, 10 questions, let's get to the bottom of a real complicated situation. And I'm also doing birthday readings for Sagittarius. So if you'd like to get a preview of your solar return and the events happening this next year, let me know. All right, so we're looking at the overall energy here, Sag. And then we're going to check out... Uh, your person. We're going to check out you and see what's up. I'm also going to pull some clarification cards for you um, in the next two sets of cards. So we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Uh, I think there's a separation here energetically, spiritually, physically, maybe more than one way. We have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss, and we have separation. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I think you're having a pullback here so that there will be kind of like an energetic slingshot, right? Abundance is coming from a period of, of loss, of lack. All right. For your overall energy here, we've got quite a doozy. The Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. Wheel of Fortune is about fate, destiny, luck. It's a turn of the wheel or a turn of your path. I think you have pretty large changes coming in, like massive changes. It's showing up with the tower. This is Scorpio energy specifically, so you have a couple Scorpio cards on the table here. Um, <clears throat> the tower, I think of it like as a double-edged coin, like coin or sword, However you want to think about it, it's both destruction and creation. It's burning to the ground that which doesn't serve in order to make room for what does. So I wonder if you've gone through a period of loss, if you are feeling like you're in a tough cycle right now, or you're feeling like things aren't quite going where they're supposed to, they're about to, although things may get bumpy here. We have the Knight of Wands now. This is Leo Sag Aries energy, so hello, there you are. But most specifically, this is a Sagittarius card. Knight of Wands is very accurate for Sag. It's traveling, going after what you want, uh, being a seeker, uh, finding that what you you know finding out what you need here. And for your Lenormand, three came out for you this time. I always take that as a sign when I have volunteers. We have the cross. Um, that's exactly how that looks. It's pain, it's suffering, it's sadness. The moon can mean emotional, um, hidden things. Like basically I'm getting a lot of resistance with the mountain here, which is obstacles in your path. If you think about like a mountain popping up somewhere, causing emotional pain here, um, causing you maybe to doubt yourself, causing maybe some depression or sadness or stuckness. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling if this is your reading. All right, we're going to take a look at your person and I will be back in a second. Well, hey there, Sag, I'm back. So I'm seeing a couple energies here. We have the Ten of Swords, which is a, an ending. It's a very painful ending. Sometimes it's about being stuck, uh, feeling like, Someone has stabbed you in the back. Someone has betrayed you. Or it's just feeling pain, like mental anguish here. We have the Eight of Swords feeling a little bit stuck. Some of you are a lot stuck here. Eight of Swords can also mean dealing with someone who indulges in like self-limiting or self-defeating behavior. 
a relationship that isn't progressing the way that it should. And I'm seeing a couple of offers here. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles as well as the Page of Cups. Pages often indicate communication. Uh, the Page of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So some of you may be dealing with a water sign. Actually, definitely a lot of you are dealing with a water sign since the King of Cups is also here. Um, this could be an apology. This could be a, a text message, some little small kind of a check-in to see how you're doing. And I think the person that you've had this ending with is going to be offering you an apology and possibly an offer here with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Page of Pentacles can sometimes mean a, something of value coming your way. Time, effort, energy. Uh, Pentacles are about the tangible and the physical world. I think in the most literal sense, you could say this would be an engagement ring, although I think that that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of an offer. Um, but mostly it's about someone wanting to invest in you or invest in the relationship. So there is some sort of an offer here. All right. We also have the emperor, which is Aries energy. Some of you are dealing with another fire sign in Aries or someone with Aries in their chart. The emperor is taking control of a situation, being a boss. I think you might have a new person coming in here in this king of cups figure. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It is possible that the person you're dealing with has grown a little bit and they're showing up here as a king as opposed to the, that Eight of Swords energy where they're feeling really stuck. But that's kind of the sense I'm getting. With the Emperor over here, they could be taking control of a situation. They could be um, bringing order out of chaos. They could be owning, you know, owning their business, owning the issues that they have or trying to fix these issues. For some of you, there's a new person here. And for some of you, there could even be two offers here. So let's see what is up. Either way, I think you've been feeling on... You've been feeling like things aren't progressing the way that they should. You've been feeling like this is a hot mess. I'm not going where I'm supposed to. Maybe you had a breakup with this person or this painful ending with that Ten of Swords. <laughs> So that you could get things back under control. King of Wands. There you are. Leo Sag Aries energy. This is you. You could also be dealing with that fire sign. Very specifically in Aries. But the King of Wands here is about taking action. It's about doing something. If this person was kind of sitting on their behind and not doing anything. They're about to you know, move forward with you. They're about to do something here. And I think for a lot of you, that is good news. This could also be you. <laughs> and we have truth. Telling the truth, cutting something out, cutting something off. Someone speaking their truth to you. Maybe you speaking your truth to this person and telling them what you need and what you expect and what you want. That's possible too. But you're getting out of this Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords place that you've been in. Um, there may be a bit of a tower moment or there was a tower moment, but I think that's all kind of in service of the greater good here. I think it's going to get you out of this place. All right, let's see if anything else likes to come out or wants to come out here. If not, we will turn our attention to you. We have one volunteer. Okay, so if you've been dealing with someone who is selfish or someone who is not giving, well, they're about to give. We've got the Four of Pentacles here, which is withholding behavior, someone not giving you their time, their effort, their energy, someone um, who doesn't want to share their resources, someone who's stubborn. 
uh, in the reverse, it's letting go of that. It's being a little more open. You notice that there's the page of pentacles here. This is someone literally offering you their resources. All right, let's take a look at you. Okay, Sag, here we go. So we've got the Ten of Cups. That's an altogether different ending, isn't it? That is a wish fulfillment card. It's a happily ever after. It's feeling like you have everything that you need with the Ten of Cups. King of Wands has also shown up again. So that's very important here. This could be you or some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart, specifically like their moon or their Venus. Um, sometimes it's in Mercury because that's, way, that's the way that we communicate with one another. Ace of Wands, the start of a new cycle, a passionate new beginning. The Temperance card here, also Sag, that is your major arcana. The Magician, Gemini energy, as well as uh, Aquarius and Aries. I think you've been patient. I think you're about to find some balance with the Temperance card. I think you're manifesting a new cycle for yourself. I think you're manifesting a new beginning here. Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. So if things have been kind of, you know, not great, if things seem to be like crumbling around you, you're going to get out of that energy. That won't be an issue anymore. I think this is you and your power kind of bringing things in for yourself. We do have a new moon coming up. That is the perfect time to manifest, to ask for some great things to come to you. Yeah, like the Ace of Pentacles. That is a valuable new cycle. That could mean money. Sometimes it's about um, building something valuable for yourself, like security in a relationship, financial security, job security, a new home something that grows over time and becomes more valuable. Ooh, yeah, you're headed for a new start here. Oh, uh, yeah, you're headed for a new start. We have the full Aries energy, lots of Aries here. This is uh, the first card of the major arcana, taking a risk, taking a leap, uh, going on an adventure. It's a little bit of a Sag card. It's like, let's see what comes in for us. Let's try something new and see where it goes. All right. Let me know down below if this resonated. If it didn't, go ahead and check out your moon and your Venus sign. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my readings. And, well, have a fantastic day. Blessed be.